Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. Today we are going to discuss the symbol and compound interest. Interest is the cost of borrowing money where the borrower pay a fee to the lender for the loan. The interest is typically expressed as percentage which can be either symbol or compound. The symbol and compound interest are the two different methods for calculating interest. Both methods involve the three basic parameters namely principal, rate and term. The principal is the original sum on which the interest is calculated. The rate is the interest rate charged per period. And the term is the number of periods over which the interest is charged. If the simple interest is paid, then the interest is calculated only on the principal amount that was deposited. So the formula for calculating the simple interest rate is the SI which is equal to PIT. So SI is the simple interest rate and P is the principal amount which is the amount of money is deposited. I is the interest rate which is the percentage of the principal earned and the T is the time period or it is the length of time money is to be deposited. So the formula for calculating the simple interest rate is the principal amount into interest rate into the time period. So we have an example that is assume that you deposit rupee 1000 in an account paying 7% as annual simple interest for 2 years. Then what is the accumulated interest at the end of second year? So in the given question, the principal amount P is given that is 1000 rupees and the interest rate is the 7% which can be write by 7 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.07 and the time period T is equal to 2 years. So the simple interest can be calculated by using the equation of PIT that is principal into rate of interest into the time period which is equal to 1000 into 0 0.07 into 2 years that is 2. So if you multiply all this value then the simple interest is equal to 140. So the accumulated interest rate at the end of second year will be 140. Similarly, we have another question that is a sum of rupee 25,000 become 27,250 at the end of 3 years when calculated at a simple interest. Then what is the rate of interest? As against our previous example where we want to calculate the amount of interest, simple interest, but here we want to calculate the rate of interest. From the given question, the principal amount P is equal to 25,000. The simple interest can be find by taking the difference between the future value and the present value that is 27,250 minus 25,000 which is equal to 2,250. So the amount of simple interest is 2,250. And the time period of course it is already given that is the end of 3 years so it is a T is equal to 3 year. And here we want to calculate the rate of interest that is I. So as per the equation that is simple interest is equal to PIT. So I is equal to if you are isolating I then this equation will become simple interest divided by P into T. So as per this equation substitute the values then it will become the simple interest which is equal to 2250 divided by principal amount that is 25,000 into the time period T is equal to 3 years. So if you solve this equation then the rate of interest I will become 0 0.03 which means 3 percentage is the rate of interest. The simple interest is very rarely used in real life. Almost all banks and other financial institutions use compound interest. So how the compound rate of interest is calculated? It is calculated on the principal amount plus any accumulated interest accrued at the start of a period. In this case, interest is charged on interest. The formula for calculating the compound interest is P into 1 plus I raised to the power N where P is the amount of money you are deposited or it is the principal amount 
and i is the rate of interest which is the percentage of principal earned and the n is the time which is the length of time the amount is deposited we have a numerical example that is a person want to know how large is his deposit of 10000 today will become at a compound annual interest rate of 10 percentage for the period of 5 years so from the above question the principal amount is given that is p which is to be deposited in the account that is 10000 then the rate of interest is 10 percentage which can be write by 10 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.1 and for the period of 5 years, so n is equal to 5. The equation for calculating the compound interest rate is equal to p into 1 plus i raised to the power n. So if you substitute the values given in the equation, then compound interest rate is equal to 10,000 into 1 plus 0 0.10 raised to the power 5. So it is equal to 10,000 into 1.1 raised to the power 5 which is equal to 10,000 into the value of 1.10 raised to the power 5 which is equal to 1.61051. So if you multiply these two values then compound interest rate is equal to 16,105.1. So the extra amount or the compound annual interest that particular person can be earned as 6105.1 that means we can reduce the principal amount from the compound amount then the difference is the 6105.1 so this is the accumulated or compound annual interest rate so the above used equation for calculating the compound interest rate is equal to p into 1 plus i raised to the power n when the compound interest rate is calculated annually if the compound annual rate is interest rate is calculated half yearly then the equation will become p into 1 plus i by 2 raised to the power n if it is quarterly then it will become i divided by 4 then if it will become monthly or it is m times in a year then it will be p into 1 plus i by m raised to the power n so then this compound is m times in a year so accordingly we can use these equations depending upon how the interest rate is compounded i hope you are clear about how to calculate the symbol interest and compound interest the symbol interest is very rarely used in real life almost all banks and other financial institutions use the compound interest rate have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.